there are different types of sentient beings and uh, different levels, different affinities of our practitioners. At the end of the day, the goal of Chan Buddhism, or I would say, um, Chan actually adapt itself to the needs of sentient beings. Some people are more task oriented in nature. Or they need to have a goal in order to get them motivated. And there are, on the other hand, some other people that get stressed out when you give them a goal, you give them a task. So uh, basically, human beings belong to these two broad categories. These two broad categories. The goal of Chan is to benefit sentient beings. That is the goal. So, uh, whichever way that benefits sentient beings uh, is uh, the good way. So, uh, in this case, the practice of Chan, there are some people you need to give them uh, this goal of seeing the nature, becoming uh, enlightened or awakened. Then they are motivated to practice initially. But after a while, through the practice, they will realize that in order for them to achieve the goal, they have to start from the here and now. They have to come back to the present moment. It's like you are going on to a journey. You cannot keep thinking about your destination. If you keep thinking about your destination, however, if there is no action, you do not start with your steps moving forward. Here and now, you start moving. Then you will never reach your destination. So on one hand, there's also another extreme. There are some people who keep thinking about enlightenment all the time and they do not practice. So uh, that is something which is uh, not very good. So the goal is something that actually set a direction. But at the same time, we start from the end now. And there are some other people, on the other hand, uh, you ask them to come back to the here and the now, be mindful in the present moment. That's good. But after a while, they, they, they do not get motivated. They sort of become lazy. And then they just stay stagnant. So there is this Chinese uh, expression in Chan. It's uh, putting a stone in cold water. So you put a stone in the cold water, nothing happens. It stays, the stone just keeps uh, soaking itself in cold water. And at the end of the day, nothing is achieved. So there is also another aspect which uh, is uh, wrong. When we come back to the present moment here and now, we look deeply. We realize what is in the here and now. We actually actively, in a way, uh, become aware of what is in the here and now. In fact, the here and now is the goal. So there is a goal in the here and now. So when you have a, it's actually the two different approach, but in reality they are the same. First you start off with a goal, and in order for you to realize your goal, you actually uh, discover that uh, in order for you to attain your goal, you have to come back to the here and now. And for those people who are in the here and now, they investigate further, and then they discover that in the here and now, that is the goal, that is precisely what we are going after. So there is no difference. 